Hello Chikara and friends, the 2017 CrossFit Games Open season is here. It starts out with a beautiful workout of increasing reps on a dumbbell snatch and burpee box jump overs. Here's some quick tips to help you do your best and get the most out of the workout. First, try and have a goal in mind. Look at some of the videos that have already been posted and try and come up with the pacing that you think you can maintain. And look at the split times of when they finish rounds. See if you can find one that matches what you think you can do and have that in mind as you're going through the workout. This workout really comes down to your mindset of keep going and efficiency within each of the movements. If you finish this workout, it's 150 snatches. If you're taking one extra second for each snatch, that's almost three minutes extra of work that you're doing. So try and cut the rest down to a minimum. With that being said, it's important to go at a pace that you can maintain without having to take long rests in between. It's better to go slower with shorter rest than faster with long breaks in between. Before you go into this workout, you want to make sure you're warm and that metabolic engine is running. You can find our recommended warm up below. Start with a general warm up of a few rounds of bike, row, some shoulder pass throughs until you're feeling warm. After that, do a little bit of mobility to open up those shoulders, open up the hips, and also massage that lower back. While you're performing a specific warm up, here's a few things that you want to think about for each of the movements. First, with the snatch. Think about the grip that you're going to use. I like to have my hand up close to one of the dumbbell heads and the dumbbell facing perpendicular compared to my feet. This helps me loosen my grip and use that end of the dumbbell as a little bit of leverage to whip it overhead. As opposed to having the bar across parallel with my feet and having to grip it the whole time. Second, make sure the dumbbell is between or slightly behind your feet. This will help you use more of your hips and put less load on your lower back. If this weight is heavy for you, or your back tends to get fatigued when you're doing kettlebell swings and snatches, make sure you're dropping your hips low before snatching the weight off the ground. One thing to be careful of in the snatch is that free hand. As you get tired, you're going to want to put that free hand on the leg. When you let go of the dumbbell, throw that free hand back and use it to come through with the hips on the next rep. Also make sure both heads of the dumbbell touch the ground on each rep and don't let it go dropping it from the top. In that case, the chance of it bouncing and hitting you in the leg or foot are pretty high and it's going to slow down your time. The snatch is really about staying focused and efficient. Again, one second on each rep is three minutes in the end. Try and stay focused, keep reaching down, flattening that back and picking it up off the ground. When you're practicing the burpee, practice a few different ways of getting up from the ground. You could jump up, you could step up, or you can go knee, step, then jump on top of the box. When you're on top of the box, there's a few different variations that you can try. You could try staying low with the knees bent and crawling over the box. You could jump up with the legs a little bit straighter, but bent over at the hips with the hands or forearms resting on the legs. Or you can jump up and walk across. Also practice how you're going to get down from the box and turn around. Turn around quick, jump back or step back, touch the chest of the ground and get right back up again to go and do your next rep. Efficiency here in getting down, then right back up without too much rest is going to save you big time in the end. Again, the key here is finding a pace that works for you and not resting too long. Try and keep moving the whole time no matter how slow it is. If you have any questions, be sure to head over to our Facebook page where this video will be posted and comment below. Best of luck in 17.1. I hope you have fun and let's have a great open season.